Stepping in and ready for another shot. Leading Freddie Freeman already a home First run and a double run. for him in this one. Ready. Way in front of a great slider that time. A uh, well hit by Freeman as this one's in the air to deep right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game, and it gives the M's a 4-2 to two lead. Boy, that's a late mistake that could prove to be fatal. It's only a solo shot, but with the way their starter is throwing it, that could be enough to seal the deal. Up next for Seattle, here's Corey Seager. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. 0-1 count, here's the pitch. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Top foul wide of first. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Into the box, uh, Carlos Ruiz. It's been an Patrick. 0 for 2 effort for Carlos him to this point. Ruiz. He's set and the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Walker ranging into the outfield, two gone. Now batting. But here's Gerard David Dyson. Hitter. No hits Gerard. in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch coming, here it is. Runs up to Bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. And the pitch. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bunt single. Well, this bunt part of his game, you know, he can fly. And everybody on the field's anticipating it, but he dropped it in the perfect spot. From the stretch, Dyson off for second, but there to take it is Cabrera, and with that, the side is retired. One for the Mariners, and it comes on this solo home run. We're through seven this afternoon, and the M's have doubled up. They lead it four to two. In is Curtis Granderson. He leads off their half of the eighth, Getting and they've been the unable to get that starter out of the game three. to this point. Yeah, Curtis he settled in Granderson. early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him. Slice down the left side, but foul. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Fastball called strike. One and two. I love how aggressive he is. He's just attacking the zone with the fastball. Here it is. Now he's at one-two count. And really, he can go anywhere he wants now. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Curtis Granderson goes quietly to lead off the seven. eight. Jose Reyes. Ground ball left side. Seeger has it. On to first, and Scherzer's on a roll now, two away. The batter, second baseman, Neil. Digging Walker. in the switch hitter, Neil Walker. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Here's a swing and a high pop up, drifting toward the third base dugout, and Seeger will put this one away to retire the side. Mets go down 1, 2, 3. They trail it here 4 to 2. Hansel Robles is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom. Number 47, Hansel Robles. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. The wind up and the 0-1. 
There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Cespedes racing back. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 23. Digging in and looking for more. Nelson Cruz. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Chopped weakly to the left. Right there is Reyes. Throw on to first, two gone. Third baseman, number 15, Kyle Seeger. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Line toward right center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Some important two out success as Robinson Cano will bat next. Well, well that's good hitting. Oh and oh, you want that fastball Robinson. right where you're looking at Cano. it. Just take it right back at him. Nice swing. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. Pulled toward right center field. Bruce on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for Seattle. Your Edwin Diaz please. comes on from now the pen, hoping to the finish Mariners. this one off here in the Number top of the ninth. Edwin Diaz. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. He'll start things out against the closer, Edwin Diaz. Ninth That's inning better. underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. The 0 1 pitch. Comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's 1 and 2. Lays off the 1 2 changeup and he's worked it back to 2 and 2. Well, that's great discipline. He's clearly sticking with his plan. Those two balls were down. He's thinking to himself, make him get it up before I swing. Get it off the knees. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Lucas Duda is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And, and he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He's working on a one for three thus far. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark them here. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, that's a staggering 21 wins in a row. This is some pretty historic stuff we're watching. That ties the 1935 Cubs as one of the longest streaks in MLB history. Four to two, the final score today. Max Scherzer earns win number 15 on the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Edwin Diaz closes the door for the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For the Mets, two runs on five hits. No errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.